The reality is that public relations has been in the business of generating discussion ever since it was incepted. Now, having said that, I will say that I think there's something new about word of mouth today that even PR agencies need to kind of acknowledge and either embrace or, I guess, get out of the way, but embrace. And that is <clears throat> that there are ways to amplify word of mouth and make it word of mouth actually a core component to a program and not just the kind of nice byproduct. And the other is measurement. You know, we're all being driven by uh, you know, how can we measure the success of a program. And in the new kind of word of mouth discipline, there are ways to measure. You know, promoter scores and, and other models, web metrics that are a reflection of engagement activity. And so those are the things that I think uh, make it a kind of an exciting new chapter for public relations in word of mouth. What we see a lot now and what we're doing a lot with our clients is we're turning clients who are normally uh, marketers or sellers of a core product also into content creators. It's a big part of how they provide value today uh, to their particular constituents. So an example would be um, Snap-on Diagnostics, a client of ours who makes uh, handheld computers for automotive techs. Well, the reality is uh, the guts of that system is the intellectual property of troubleshooting cars, how mm -hmm. to fix cars. And now we have their customers sending in video clips of how they fixed cars. And that becomes an asset uh, under uh, the banner of Snap-on Technologies. It's what we call co-creation, where customers are now creating part of the product or service that then ends up uh, reaping a greater value for all customers. What we've done is we've actually created a profile, we call it the alpha tech behind the scenes, and basically it's what the name suggests. It's the key influencer, the one that's more enthusiastic. Uh, it's the go-to guy, if you will. And so we've, what we found is a lot of these go-to guys and gals, in all fairness, um, are really some of the, the core people that are actually creating content or wanting to create content and then share it with people. And we reward them, basically, so they have an opportunity to um, be part of the Snap-on product service offering by submitting. But we also reward them by reaching out to them periodically, giving them uh, previews of product and so forth and so on. So we are kind of nurturing that relationship as it goes on. And uh, can you comment briefly just on uh, WOMA and uh, this organization and how the space in general has grown or you know, changed? Yeah, no, it's interesting. When I um, We uh, were at uh, Orlando WOMA, uh, I guess the last one, how long ago that was, but we started talking about WOMA, uh, word of mouth in general, the kind of new word of mouth within the, our agency. People were saying, oh yeah, we've been doing that for years. It's nothing um, new. It's public relations. And the reality is, as a, you know, there, there is something new about it. And I think that the WOMA conference here today uh, and yesterday is, is extremely encouraging. It's extremely um, inspiring to see all these people coming together and really wanting to leverage word of mouth in a new way. And I think that the thing that's most inspiring is, is that the, the kind of honesty uh, at the core of the intent of word of mouth. So let's create an honest relationship, providing some uh, conversation of value between um, uh, customer and, and producer, let's say, and let's kind of change the dynamic of kind of marketing huckster, hucksterism, whether it's on the advertising side or the PR side. And that's what I think is really encouraging. <laughs> <laughs>